Hey guys, it's Drek and it's Black Friday. I went to Toys R Us today again after I got my Sonic Recon because I actually wanted these. I like the whiteout darts a lot that Walmart was doing because they sold streamlines and they were just phenomenal. And before I bought a Stampede to get the green, I guess they're Sonic Series darts, I'm going to call them green out just on, on principle. Anyway, before I got the green darts in the Whistler pack, I wanted to make sure that they were the right kind of foam, so I bought a pack of green whistlers and then I realized that you'd get a pack of green whistlers free with the purchase of any blaster so I bought the Sonic Series Barricade and as long as I've got it I'm gonna do a review of it for you this is the first time one of these special blasters outside of the gear up series has come with its specific darts which I think is really cool it's got the green Sonic darts for the green barricade and since I got extra darts for free with it as part of the Black Friday deal, I was very pleased with the purchase. I'm looking forward to turning this into a radioactive barricade. I wanted an excuse to do more LED work and I liked my radioactive Maverick so much that I thought that I'd replicate it with this. And I've got to be honest, the electronic blaster actually looks much cooler than I thought it would in its green form. Everything is clear. You can see all the locks I remove, typically, including this one. So there will be a lot less orange when I'm done turning it into a radioactive barricade. And I'll have to sand off all these logos. Maybe leave the Nerf ones this time because they're not as big of an eyesore. But the turret, the trigger, everything will get painted. Anyway, I figured I'd review it in its stock form. So I'm going to get on with that. This battery pack from Duracell is cool because... It comes with a battery screwdriver that has a Phillips head bit, so I can remove the door. And I throw 9 volts in all of my barricades, but since I'm doing a stock review, I will use the traditional voltage source. There are three double A's that go in the stock barricade which is 4.5 volts of power so putting a 9 volt in there doubles its volt output which is awesome alright there we go I've got to close this and load the turret alright Mine is working. It seems so quiet after I've modded so many of these to to fire one in its stock form. And this is what I was really after. This green foam does seem very similar to the whiteout foam. What's interesting is that the darts that come with the barricade are different than the darts that come in the pack. The darts that come in the pack have orange tips, whereas the barricade darts have black tips. It's not a, a huge deal to me. I don't really care. I think that the black tipped darts will look much cooler in my radioactive barricade when it's finished, so I'll probably save all of them for that occasion specifically when it's hanging on the favorites wall. Maybe put radioactive symbols on each one of them. Alright, so I'm going to fire the barricade. The return spring on mine seems to be having a slight issue, but that's not a big deal. It's a very cool repaint, or I guess recoloring. I love clear blasters, and I think that the Sonic series is neat. As much as I'd much rather have a plain clear blaster, the green translucent is very cool. And they're easy to pick up because Toys R Us's are everywhere around me. I found one more dart, so I guess I'll shoot that, see how it fires something with a tagger head. It did not fire that very well. The stock ranges are what you'd expect out of a barricade, about 25 feet. So when I mod it, I'll definitely up that a lot. But that's my review of the Nerf Sonic Series Barricade in its stock form. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Just so you guys know that I'm not getting lazy on you, I have been working on the Shadow Spectre. It's a very challenging and fun project, but that's my sneak peek. This is quarter-inch polycarbonate that's been diagrammed. And this is brass for a, a separate part. I'll let you guys continue to guess 
what this is going to be. The spray paint colors are in the corners and it should be done reasonably soon. I'm not quite finished with it. 